Okay, these are, um, you know, uh, coin problems. So there's, I'm going to say there's, um, there's, there's five dollar coins there. So I'm going to just say D, 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 D. And then there's five, I'm sorry, seven five cent pieces. I'm going to call them nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another, wait a second, three dollars. Wait a second, let me read that. A purse contains five dollars and seven five cent pieces. I wrote that down. And another, oh, look at that, and another purse. Right? How many three dollars there? So this is one purse. This is another purse. There's two purses. So the other purse is three dollars and twelve. Geez, I don't know if I want to write that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm not going to count those again, by the way. It, even writing them down is kind of ridiculous. So, so what are you doing? So it says, find the probability of obtaining a dollar by drawing a single coin from one of the purses taken at random. Now, granted, this means when you're grabbing these coins, you cannot feel a difference between them. Kind of outrageous thinking that that a dollar coin would somehow feel different than a nickel coin. But let's say, you know, that these are like all uniform coins, that one says, says a D on it, the other one says N on it. You couldn't tell a difference until you pull it out and look at it, all right? So then the question comes is, you know, find the probability of obtaining a dollar by drawing a single coin from one of the purses taken at random. So I'm going to say, if you're going to take them at random, there's a half of a chance that you'll take it from the first purse. And a half of a chance you'll take it from the second purse. Right? So, I mean, you may grab this purse. You may grab that purse. It's a half chance. It's random. Right? Half that one, half times that one. Well, let's say you chose it from this purse over here. Well, how many, what's the chance of picking a dollar out of that? Well, let's get the size of the sample space. And I don't want to count those letters up. But you're just picking one coin, right? So a purse contains $5 and 7 So what is that? That's 12 And what's the chance of a success? Well, there's $5. So it's 5 Now, what's the other guy going to be? Well, let's count it up. $3 and $12, uh, 5 cent pieces. That's 15 What's the success there? Well, there's $3 there. So it's going to be, I'll write this down for you. This is going to be 5 over 24. And this is going to be, let's see, 1 over, because I'm doing 3 into 15 goes in um, 5 times 10. Well, i got to add these together. I think I can handle that. The common denominator would be 120. This would be 12. And what times 24 would be 125, right? So what do you get? 17. I'm sorry, that's 25. I'm sorry, I said five. It's five, five times 24. Five times five is 25. 25 and 12 is 37 over 120. All right? Again, key here is randomness. What does random mean? Each purse, you don't know, could be ch chosen. Either one. If they're random, it's one and two. That's why I'm saying one half chance this one, one half chance for the other one. And what's the, 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 the combination over there? You know, half times you pick this purse, half times you pick the other one. Then I got to keep the probability of picking a dollar out of it from that. Again, the belief is that you could not differentiate if you picked a coin from the purse until you pulled it out. That's when you know you picked a dollar or the nickel, all right? So 37 out of 120. All right, thank you. Oh, before I go, let me remind you, my name is Ron Bannon. Um, if you think I made a mistake in the, my text, please reach out to me. Thank you.